Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Getting really quick at that. Yeah. <laughs> Cartoon. Rhino. 7% alcohol. Holston Festbach. James asked me if that meant it was a party bock. I don't think it is, though. But I would like it to be. It's 7% alcohol, and it's a bock from Germany, so I'm going with it's a party bock. Party bock it is. It says it is the German purity law of 1516. Wait, whoa, whoa, like, um, like the Holocaust? <laughs> party Bach. Let's stick with Party Bach. We're okay with Party Bach. <laughs> Look at that. It's a dark Bach. <laughs> Bachs are always... <laughs> well, Bachs are dark to begin with, but I mean, that's a very dark Bach. Dark Bach, that sounds like Klingon. <laughs> Bach. I'm back. <clears throat> well, it has the Holston guy on the horse, the big H shield, running to kill people in his black armor. That smells a lot stronger than Seven. Oh, it certainly does. But. And it smells kind of like rum. I was wondering which booze it was that it smelled like, but rum for sure, like an, like an amber rum. Yeah, you get Definitely. like the dark fruits, <laughs> yeah, sugar actually. cane. Yeah, that smells like um, like uh, the Havana Club, seven year. <laughs> Not anything you should smell from a beer that's supposed to be following the purity law of 1516, which is water, hops, and malt, possibly yeast. <laughs> yep. Um... <laughs> Tongue bitten successfully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say it smells bad. No, I like I'm, one. I'm see, I'm not a big rum fan. I'd rather a scotch or a gin over a rum. I'll take rum. Well, let's find out if it's as good as rum. <laughs> It tastes like rum. Yeah. Weird. The very. Told you it was a party bock. It is party bock. <laughs> this is great. Some All fest right. bock and coke. <laughs> Ooh. Can you imagine? You know that that's a drink they do in in Germany. They mix their beer with coke. Why? I don't know. Why? Why would you do what we're gonna do next? Oh right. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, back to it though. Um, yeah, I, honestly, I, I can't get that out of my head now. That does taste like fizzy rum. Yeah. I do get some malt. Like, I do get some caramel and toffee, but you can get that in rum too. Mm -hmm. um, you do get a bit of dark fruit flavors, but not much. Like, they're on the, they're on the finish. Just kind of emanating back up through your throat. But yeah, it tastes like watered down fizzy rum. Now, the only innocent gun product I do not like is the rum cask. And it's because it tastes so much like rum. This tastes a lot like rum, but it's not as pronounced as the, as the rum cask is. To the fact that I'm saying that I kind of like this for some strange, odd reason. <clears throat> Equally as strange and odd, as much as I like rum, I'm thinking I don't really like this. See, that's the, that's the thing I love about beer, and the reason why I like having a guest reviewer, is because beer's a lot like wine. There's so many different tastes out there, and what you like and what you don't like is always different. It's by no means undrinkable, or offensive. It's just, um... Uh, maybe I'm just confused, because it is, it, I, I'm getting so much rum from it, but, I don't know. I haven't stopped drinking it yet, so. I'm probably going to get hate mail for this. What are you talking about? It tastes like rum. It doesn't taste like rum. Again, I go back to my statement that tastes are different. Yeah. Oh, and when I say rum, I don't mean white rum. <laughs> it definitely has to be aged. That's where the flavor comes from. Mm. 
I mean, I didn't do any research on this, and this is one of their seasonals, and I usually do. For what season? Uh, box or spring beers. We're late. Yeah, we're a little late, but it's still good. Oh, well, fair enough. Good for another couple months. Um, <laughs> not two or three days. <laughs> yeah, no, not like the last one. No, um, I mean, they could have aged this in barrels. Like old sherry barrels or something that something. held rum. You know what? Almost, I would think, like, if not rum, maybe Madeira. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. Madeira, I do not know. Yeah, it's a fortified wine that, uh, it's, it's kind of like, it's got like a story like the IPA. At the, I'm not sure if it was supposed to be sherry or port or what it was, but um, something happened to it on the ships when they were leaving the coast. Well, it was in the barrels. Like, it had to be there for a certain amount of time. To become Madeira, something, something to that effect. I usually only cook with it, but it's got those flavors too, like rum and Madeira. It definitely like fortified sugarcane action going on right here. That's, I don't know. I'm warming up to it. I'm not sure if it's a seven percent alcohol or if I'm actually just actually warming up to it. I don't know. I'll find out though. Um, I would probably put it at like a six point five out of ten. There's nothing offensive about it. But it's not my favorite thing out there. It's just it has the rum flavors, but they're subtle enough that I can still drink it. And it is a warming alcohol. And I don't know. It's just it's a nice drinking Bach. I've had a lot of Bachs that I've really enjoyed. This one isn't up there with the ones that I've really, really enjoyed. But it's it's good. What? Another boy check move. It's good. I, I love that he was recording this while playing with it, the bar fly. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's his crack. Leave him alone. You can't let it go. I think, um... I don't know, you know what? If, if, if it was anybody but me that wasn't so confused about how much like rum that tasted, I think it would just be a really flavorful beer that, um... As much as it smelled like it was going to be really strong, um, doesn't come across that way at all. It's pretty well rounded for how yeah. strong it is. It goes down pretty easy. I, I like it. I mean, for me, I'd, I'd probably give it a lower rating on my scale for things that I want to drink. But I mean, as a beer itself, I, I could probably go as as high as a six, six and a half, maybe six, seven, five. I think. Yeah, because it's it's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. It's good. I can't believe it's strong though, because I got. It smelt really strong. It doesn't taste like it. Yeah, it smelt like, like it was going to kick us in the face. Oh, yeah. yeah. Almost like the crest. Mm. Well, it didn't <laughs> smell like that, but it smelt like it was going to kick us like that. Right, yeah. I know. But, yeah, it's it's very flavorful. But, as James said and as we discussed, it, it just it has such a rum flavor that it's weird. It's so strange. And it's not bad. It's just... It keeps me on the fence of whether or not I really like it because I hate rum. Wow. I got alcohol poisoning a couple times with rum. No, I think I'm about to get it from this beer. That just hit me in the head like a fucking rocky <laughs> punch. Are you kidding me? Huh. It's efficient too. So <laughs> six seven five from James, yeah. six five from myself. Holy Thank you for watching the Albino Rana beer review. The beer drink it obvious. Bye. You're not going to chug it? I'm not chugging it. Fuck it. Alright, let's see if I still got legs when I stand up. Yep.